index addressing mode. Index addressing mode na sir. Play party kami na. It is also it will, it will not give the direct operand. Okay. Here it will also use the effective address. Okay. But the effective address here you need to find out the effective address in a different way. Right. That is it will be represented like this. X and R I. Okay. And R I is the general purpose register. Right. And this is used as a effective address. Okay. Now the effective address of the operand. Operand ni kanto puri kono bina. Right. This effective address has to be added with the constant value. Right. X is the constant value. X will do constant value puri kono bina. Don't get confused. Indirect addressing la only register value puri kono bina. R one, R two, R one puri kono bina. Right. So adhi vayda puri kono effective address use puri kono. Ana inga effective address enda dena bina. In the register and adhi kumuna di erikna value twenty or thirty or enna value the X value. We got to add the constant value. To the content of the register, that is called as effective address. You can see here x plus r i, right? And similarly, the index register value will not be changed, right? Effective address can't be changed. Nala, in all the effective address, effective address more all, right? That is the register value more all, right? Register value plus in the extra ina mandra bina effective address can't be changed, right? And this index addressing can be of two different types. Let me show you, right? Another with the base. And with base and offset, right? So you can see here, if we represent panna la, abdi lana, if we represent panna la, right? R I comma R J, two register. This is the part you can see, right? R I comma R J, we represent panna la, abdi lana, constant with R I comma R J, if we represent panna la, okay? This is with the base, with the base, with the base register, and this is with the base and offset. With the base and offset, different types of index addressing, right? And you can see here you are using a general purpose register here, right? We are using a general purpose register. And another one, I am going to use effective address. I am using one wrong. And that particular address can also be called as index register. I am saying index register. I am saying, right? And you can see here this is index address, index register. And this R J, register register. This R J is nothing but base register, right? Original I use for the index register. Secondary I use for the then I've been passing up in a. Right now I use for the base register, right? And you can see this is a constant value, right? It represents the offset value, right? So I think so. No, it's not pure. Don't worry. You can see by looking at this diagram, you can understand, right? You can see off code, right? Off and every kind of we've been passing now. We need to find out the effective address, right? Effective address is directly put up. Like, what I'm saying, right? Index register put up on the R1. Right, and some offset value put there. Right, ah, upon the index register plus this offset value, other entity add can another number original offer and then I can't be given to you. Right, ah, that is called as in the index addressing. Put it up, right, index register and as well as the offset value. Right, even if you still don't understand, you can look at this. Right, even index register can be done in two different ways. That is through register and there is through memory location. Okay, you can see here. Add same instruction. Unadi. Enna kathir pappi na. Inda 20 inda kathir. Same da. Velo add. R1, R2. Adho mottu thang pappi. Right? So, pa enna pappi pappi. R1 direct enga kore. Enga kattu thang pappi pappi. Adho enna memory location kattu thang. Angi enna pappi 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 na. Aapra enna kattu pappi pappi. Right? Slightly different here. You can see here. This is X into R1. Right? This R1 is nothing but effective address. And this 20 is nothing but. The constant value, right? So first we need to find out this operand, right? For finding this operand, what you have to do is you have to go to R1, R1 and go, right? So R1 and go, right? Right? So R1 and go, R1 and go, right? It has the, it is in the location of the thousand, right? And now you can see here what I have said. The effective address is determined by adding the constant value, constant value plus the effective address, right? So if our effective address is another thousand card here, constant value is another twenty. So thousand plus twenty, thousand twenty. From thousand, when they are done, thousand twenty will go. Right? That is the operand. Put it down. Thousand is not thousand, then thousand twenty will go. Right? That is twenty into R I. In that, when the operand is there, I will tell you. R I value will be twenty add. When they are done, when they are done, operand is there. I will tell you. Right? So this is called as index addressing. Right? Similarly. Index addressing, the offset is where we use it. Right? Offset, what do you think about it? Offset, what do you think about it? 
ரைட் ரெஜிஸ்டர் கண்டென்ட் கூட என்ன பண்ணிருக்க அப்படின்னா அந்த ஆஃபர்ட் ஆட் பண்ணிருக்கேன் ரைட் இங்க என்ன பண்றோம் அப்படின்னா மெமரி லொகேஷன் ஏன் என்ன பண்றோம் அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஆஃபர்ட் ஐ யூஸ் பண்றீங்க ஓகே யூ கேன் சி ஹியர் ஆட் தௌசண்ட் ரைட் ஆர் ஒன் ஓகே யூ கேன் சி ஹியர் நவு தௌசண்ட் இஸ் த மெமரி லொகேஷன் ஓகே அண்ட் ரெஜிஸ்டர் ஆர் ஒன் ஆர் ஒனுக்கு போகுது டேரக்டா ஆர் ஒன்ல இட் ஃபைண்ட்ஸ் தி ஆஃபர்ட் வேல்யூ ஹியர் நீடட் <laughs> Right, we'll, ex- we'll explain this particular program. Okay, consider a list of students. Okay, for example, or a 60 students are coming. Consider number class here is going. So, number class 60 students are coming. 60 students come to Madina. You have a student ID, right? Some some ID number, right? So, like ID one, two, three, four, something like that, right? So, each and every student has three subjects. Three subjects are test marks. Are there? Are you going to locate Madina? Come to Madina. Student ID. Followed by subject one, subject two, subject three. That is the test marks. Test one, test two, test three. That is the third student. He has three marks. And then third student. In the middle. In the list, I have to store. Once again, I, I plus four, I plus eight, I plus twelve, I plus sixteen. Right. So, if one student is passing, that is the memory location. How many are there? That is the memory block. How many are there? Four. That is the memory block. How many are there? Four content. Right. One more than that. Student instruction. Right. That is the other. Test one, test two, test three. Okay, and that's the same thing. That's the same thing. Right? Now, for example, if I want to add test one marks, all the students are 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 test two marks. How can I write it? Right? Simple. You can see here, I need three instructions. Right? R1, R2, R3. Right? Now, you can see here, clear R1, R2, R3. Right? The original list is available. Right? R R R is original list there. Right, that will be stored in R R. Right, that is sixty. Right, that is sixty. Right, n value is equal to sixty. Sorry, n value is equal to sixty. Number of n is equal to sixty. Okay, now the list, the entire list of the integer will be now R R will be written in order. Okay, ma. Now you can see here, this is how it is stored. Okay, now what I am doing is sense. Uh, clearing R1, R2, and R3. Right. If the n is equal to 60, then the original value will be equal to R4, right? like the previous problem. Right. The R4 value will be 60. Right. R4 value will be 60. Right. And then what I have to do? I have to add R0. Right. That is the test value. Right. Test, test 1 is equal to 4. Right. Test 2 is equal to 8. Right. Test 3 is equal to 12. Right. So that is added to R1. And the R1 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 is added to R1. And the R1
and the other twelve are not twenty eight. Purida, Reta, and once again that expression will be stored in R1, R2, and R3. Purida, right, and this group will be repeated until or unless this condition is satisfied. In the sixty students, Purida, or you go in the list fifty nine, fifty eight, sixty one, zero or you go in the group X, you die there. Reta, and you can see here simultaneous and I take R1 line. Test one and information add it here. All students are there. And R two or in is the one that is test two or the marks add it here. Right? And once this condition is not satisfied, what it will do? It will go to the next instruction. Move R one. R one is what? Sum up move. Sum one is move. What? R two sum two is move. What? R three sum three is move. That is now sum one is nothing but the sum of all the test one marks. And similarly, sum two is sum of all the test two marks. And sum three is sum of all the test three marks. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, different addressing modes. Okay, and you know the part thing I mean, na, we have to find the reason the index index addressing. Okay, right. And next one is relative addressing. Right, relative addressing. Once again, this is the effective address. So, now let's put it go. Indirect addressing la effective address add one row. Right? Ah, that la effective address na enna. That use pani abhi operand kandu puri kino update solo. Right. And then index addressing ले effective addressing कोड़े ये constant value add पनी ना नहीं वंदु पाती ना operand वाले location ने कंडर पड़ी कमोडियो चलिया what is relative addressing from the word itself कंडर relative addressing is here the effective address अंगे ना पन्नो effective address is uh, related to some registers करेटा इंगे ना पन्नी दे लामे वो register कोड़ा था R one R two आठ तो register कोड़ा था relate पन्नी पर इंगे the same thing effective address concept is same but it is related to program counter Effective address is not related to the program counter. Not related to the that is, effective address is equal to content of the program counter and part of the address instruction. Right? Address part plus the counter part. That is why we can do operate and do it. This is called as relative addressing. In relative to the program counter. Right? So you can see here, this is on the part of the or memory location. Right? This is on the effective address act. That is, in the effective address plus the Program counter value, अदर इन्दी थी कंडो कुछ ऐना मंडरा है, आप रंडे के बोंग दियो, चलिया, this is called as relative addressing, okay, and the last two is very simple, auto increment mode, right, auto increment, right, auto increment है ना अर्थो, ओरे ओरे content तो मुड़ चोने, ओरे instruction मुड़ चोने, आड़ते आड़ते तो उन्दे बातिंग अभी ना, automatic increase आगो, right, so that is called as auto increment, right, you can see here The effective address of the operand is nothing but the content of the register. Content of the register is another effective address. Right? Like register mode, Maria. Right? Register content of the register content. Register content is another one. That is another effective address. Okay. And once again, once it access that particular register, right? And the register or the content access only. What it only what it will do is it will be added. Right? It will be incremented. Right? Because I, I mean, because another I plus four, I mean, na. The content only that only that what it will do, it will increment to i plus four, and then it will increment to i plus eight, right? That is called auto increment, correct? So it can be represented as like this way, right? Register plus side, okay? Upon that also must access this register, and then the value of the register is incremented, right? That is called as auto increment, and the increment will be based upon the stage size, right? And after that, what will happen? And addressing will happen. Follow up on it, go. And the stage size will follow up on it. Right, you can see here. This is a very good example. Right, the auto instruction. You can see some register value put there. Right, so it access that particular register. Right, you can see here and the register location goes there. Right, and the register location access put there. After accessing the location, it will go to the next location. That is auto increment. You can see here, you two two are there. Another next two go there. So if you want to do that, then you two go there. Right, so this is called as auto increment. Right, and very importantly, auto increment. Even another thing, you know, once after accessing the content of the register, and the register access from the upper one, another increment will be there. Right, and what is auto decrement? Right, same content. If the address is content of the register minus step size, in the other part, you know, the register in content is there. Right, content is there. Step size, content minus step size. Yeah, be na. Angena pannra abhin baadhi kabi na. That register access from the upper one, increment is pannra. इंगे ना पन्नो अपडेट पाती है अभी ना बिफोर एक्सेसिंग द रजिस्टर राइट राइट इट विल बी डिक्रीमेंट है डिक्रीमेंट पन्ना लेकर पड़ा ना अंदर रजिस्टर एक्सेस करना हो दैट इस कॉल्ड एस ऑटो डिक्रीमेंट एंड यू कैन सी हियर इट इस रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस राइट वेरस ऑटो इंक्रीमेंट इस 
Ri plus, which means first resistance access panite, upper increment panta. Right, but here first minus sign, decrement panta the kapurna, resistance access panta. Okay, and you can see here, right, 3002 location pono, right, banana, and one data panta in pathing abina, right. Auto decrement, 300 point, 300 quarter, right, and after that only it goes to 302. Right. So, if you want to explain all the programs, you can see here decrement R4, inspection execute I3, right? One loop is the same. If you want to start out, if you want to start out, what are you doing? R1 is decrement, right? Decrement is done, then you can see the loop. Right? Decrement is done, then you can see the register. Right? 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 Any particular inspection, so, the LI inspection is the decrement R1, right? One loop is the same. Add the inspection, add the loop, one loop is the same. Decrement one is the same. Right? So, this is called auto decrement mode. Okay? So, we have seen what are the different addressing modes. Okay? Addressing modes is very, very important concept. Okay? And understand one particular thing based upon the marks you write it. Right? But we have to explain programs. Right? If the question is asked in 12 marks or 16 marks, right? You can, you can explain all the addressing modes with the example of programs, okay? And the addressing mode and then and the programs can explain panla, right? If the question is asking four marks, right? Tokkuli la one addressing mode mode explain panna ga. different addressing modes of six marks to explain panna ga. Abhi chodha na. Just addressing mode na enna the operation enna. Abhi next time panna motto mo go. You don't want to explain the programs, okay? Hope you understand the concept very clearly. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. கண்டிப்பாக இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் ரொம்ப யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் நம்புகிறேன் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பேஷனேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அண்ட் கீப் லேர்னிங் தேங்க்ய